tormented by a succubus Call a sis, pencil who dripping from the way I spit Fell in love with this, sis got music, now she in my grips Wanna take a sip of her only sign says six No, no questions asked, always lit, only smash Trying up my sis got team, get a foot off in your ass, boy I ain't talking about that DOA, but shoddy jiggle physics on the level of a yachty man what is up dibs it's your boy d welcome back to the channel and now destiny child video today we're going to be reviewing the ragnar break season 36 guide which is the guide for ragnar break lema dibs before we dive in you're in the routine if you haven't already please consider leaving a like subscribe to the channel be sure to turn on those post notifications we're trying to regrow our community as quickly as possible uh, dibs and it can only happen if you guys hit that big thumbs up and that big bell and turn on all those notifications with that being said let's go ahead and dive right into this ish dibs let's go so as i said we are going to be reviewing the ragnar break season 36 guide dibs which is ragnar break lema we have four teams here that we're going to be going to actually no it's six different teams here that we're going to be going over actually no it's seven teams over here that we're going to be going over so this is going to be a pretty decently long video and towards the end of this i'm going to actually show you when uh, the team i actually use to actually one shot the ragnar boss so this boss is not that hard more so annoying because of what she can do she has the skill to actually nerf and debuff the hell out of your stats like when i say you could be hitting for 100k per hit she could turn that into two six thousand if she wants to but all right, so starting off with Titania's starter team right here. As you can see right here, of course, we have Titania up top here as our attacker, except for Sly with full ignition dip set as leader. She is a light type attacker. Following up behind that, we do have her puppet right here. I still don't remember this hoe's name. I do not remember her name, but I do have this on my Titania. Next up right here, as you can see, for our attacker, for our supporters, Debs, we do have Midsummer Anemone with three ignited red stars if you do not have her ignited it's best to her on slide only if you do have her ignited to those three stars make sure you have her on slide tap tap our substitutions would be moonbeam mona as well as chanjit right there the water one of course Following up behind that, we do have Newbie Mona right here. And this says you can set up a slide or you can set up a tap in this case. The unit that you're going to have as a substitute for her would be returning Wudon, a light type supporter just like Mona here. Next up, we do have Neptune, or I like to call her by our full name, Hard Worker Neptune. Pretty good unit, has always been very useful in my opinion. I still use it to the day, and it's going to be set for Slide in this case. And the same goes if you want to use Bride Simile right here. You want to set her to Slide Dibs. Next up, we have our girl, the one and only ultimate thief of all time. The greatest has ever been Lupin right here, or Phantom Thief Lupin. Except for six ignited red stars on slide tap tap. And if you go in with baby girl Celos right here, you want to have her at fully ignited as well on tap slide tap instead. Moving on down right here to the puppets, as you can see, we do have Dano next up for um, Dano, or you have Azure Dragon King right here on um, Moon. Mm, I'm about to say Moonbeam Mona on Midsummer Anemone, and for um, Lupin right here. Again, I do not remember this character's name, so please don't don't quote me. I'm sorry. I do not remember all the puppets' names in the goddamn game. I really I have a hard time remembering the characters' names. All right. And if you want to go on the driver, well, the driver is going to be Mr. Anemone, followed by Neptune, and last but not least, we're going to drive in with baby girl Titania, in this case, or Titania. Next up right here, Dibs, on our next team for Titania, as you can see, we are going to have Lupin as our leader, with Titania as our attacker, once again, seven fully ignited, six red stars, on slide only. Once again, as you can see, the puppets are going to be the same going around, I still don't remember her name, all I know is she's the chick that be with your homie, but that be sitting there, getting paid by mom and just to follow her him around with the whiskey, that's all I know. Following up behind our girl, Titania, though, we do have Wooden as our leader. Once I said, once again, this is returning Wooden, which is a light type one. Debs, as you can see, she's going to be a six red stars, except for slot tap, tap. 
Next up, we have our Moonbeam Mona once again. Set for Slide, followed by Light Simile or Mate Simile in this case. Set for Slide on six thread stars. And right here, as you can see, if you're going to have Celos in here, if you're going to have her at uh, no ignited stars, you only want to have her set for Tap. If you have her for those six ignited red stars, have her on Slide, Tap, Tap in this case. For the drive order, however, it's going to start off with Wudan, followed by Simile, then it's going to go in with our girl Titania. Next up, devs, as you can see, we do have our Laura Van Helsing team right here. Laura Van Helsing, you're going to want to have her at fully ignited six red stars devs right here, set for slide only in this case. Once again, as you can see, we do have Baby Girl set as our puppeteer on Wudan, Nikat Go Nimehain this time, and Mate Simile in this case. Now, for the rest of our team, once again, Wooden is going to be our leader in this case for her buff. And she's going to be at six stars once again with slide tap tap. Followed up by cat girl Namheim. If you're going to use Namheim without any red stars ignition, you're going to have her set for slide only. If you're going to have her at fully ignited red stars, set her for slide tap tap in this case. Next up, we do have Mate Simile once again. Six stars all around the board. And then you're going to have her on slide only. Once again, Debs, we're going to come in with our Celos right here, or our Salacious Celos. Debs, once again, if you have on fully ignited red stars, you're going to have tap, slide, tap. And if you're not ignited at all, you're going to have it on tap only. Our drive order is going to be Wooden, Simile, followed by Cat Girl Nimehame in this case. As you can see right here, we do got Baby Girl Ziva at the bottom here looking like a snack. Divvies. Moving on back up to the top, we do have our Hilder um, team right here. Starting off with Bridal Hilder as our attacker, set for slide with fully ignited red stars. I cannot stress that enough, Dibs, or stress that I have to stress it. Ignited stars work. Following up behind that, we do have Wudon following up with them uh, with the slide tap tap with the six stars around the board. Followed by Moonbeam Mona again or Light Beam Mona once again. Six stars slide is going to be her skill set. And then we have our girl Mate Simile with six stars and slide. But the difference with this team, as you can see, we do have Lupin on our squad this time. Lupin is going to be a six ignited red stars on slide tap tap only. The one you see right here is the puppets that you would actually use in this case. Once again, I do not know her name, but I will show you her um, in a moment before we actually move into our battles itself, Dibs. Following up, also, you're going to use this for Lupin. This is the puppet I actually believe I do have on my Lupin. If not, then oh well, but I do know I have her on my Titania. Okay, so right here, this is going to be the different drive orders you can use for this team. For the first one, it says if charge and mount speed have high value, then you're going to go Wudan, Hilder, followed by Lupin. If your charge and mount speed have low value, it's going to be Wudan, Mate Simile, then Bridal Hilder in this case. All right, moving on down to our next team, which is going to be the first team for Baby Girl Hilder. Right here, Hilder is the new unit that just came out. She's a light type attacker, tap power like hell dibs and you want to have her at fully ignited six red stars as you can see around the board for her to do her job you're going to set her for, set for tap as you can see this is going to be the heather team with cleopatra's puppet next up we have wooden once again on six stars on slide tap tap uh, light beam muna on slide with them six stars L mate simony simile i said simony Late mate simile with the six red stars and slide only. And then we have cat girl Nimehame with six stars. And it says if you have her only on the six stars, have her set for slide with no ignition. And if you have fully red stars, you're going to set her for slide tap tap. And then also, once again, you're going to have simile as your leader, as you can see right here. So, right here, I do remember this one. We do have the Cleopatra puppet on our girl Helder. And followed up behind that, we do have Baby Girl right here. And I, I was about to call her El Dorado, but that's not her name. Next up, there's, as you can see right here, for our drive order, it's going to end up being simile, followed by Helder, followed by um, Cat Girl Nimehain. Sorry about the background noise. Kids up there playing with the dog right now, if that's what you're hearing. All right, so 
Next up, we have our Heather team with Cleopatra Puppet 2. So, as you can see, Dibs, once again, it's going to be pretty much the same team, just excluding baby girl Mona instead here. Oh, no, Mona's in there. It's excluding Wudan, as you can see. So, for this team, Dibs, as you can see, once again, she's going to be on a six ignited red star set for tap. For Mona, if she's ignited, you're going to have her set for slide, tap, tap. And if she's not ignited, you're going to have her on slide only. Next up, we have Cat Girl Nimehame set for a slide without any red stars and set for slide tap tap with six ignited red stars. Similarly, no need to ignite her at this point. And as you can see, she's set only for slide and she's a leader in this case. Next up, we do also have Baby Girl Lupin once again, fully ignited, six red stars on slide tap tap. This puppet, I do remember her name. This is Matisse right here that we have on Lupin. And we also have Cleopatra on Heather right there once again i do not remember her guy their name i'm not going to get me the line next up for the drive order is going to end up in mate simile followed by hater followed by lupin to finish it off now for our last team right here as you can see is going to be the hater team without the cleopatra puppet the puppet you're going to have around the board is going to be the one that i that shall not be named because i cannot remember her name worth so ever so i do apologize so once again heather's going to be a six ignited red star except for tap mona's going to be set for side only with those six stars next up we're going to have cat girl nimeheim set for six stars no ignited stars is going to be set for slide only six ignited red stars is going to be set for slide tap tap our leader is going to end up being simile once again on six stars on slide and to finish off we have salacious stellos right here with six ignited red stars but if you don't have her ignited it suggests that you have her on tap if you do have her ignited then sign her on slide on the tap slide tap and once again i do not remember this goddamn puppet's name so do not get me the freaking line all right so moving on over to the equipment area as you can see for our actual soul card up here for the best for attackers starting off we do got hello my love and it gives you attack agility and crit damage plus red specific raid specific light thirst choice for attacker next up we has i'm right here hp attack weak point plus and it does raid specific light type second choice attacker and last but not least we got arch i mean arch i mean um, whoo arch veen higher right here and it's gonna it, eventually in, in korea it was actually called the arch fiends uh, sorcerer or the demon king sorcerer so i don't know why they changed it because i think the name was bad it was better but whatever next up we have hp and attack for this restores hp when attacking and what it does is going to be a race specific light type only used for survival issues next up for our supporter we have shrine we have shaman's tan and it is hp attack speed i mean charge speed plus and it does raid specific light type speed up units Next up, we have Reason, I mean, Reason Seth, Risen Seth, and it does Attack Defense, Deep Evasion Plus. And it gives us raid specific light, it's for a raid specific light type. And for that, it does High Debuff Evasion. And we have the all around best Soul Card that in the game, but one of them that's really, really good, honestly, that even Meta uses today is called Showtime. And it does HP Defense and Debuff Evasion. No Restriction, Universal Debuff Evasion. All right, so next up we have our stats right here one two and three for slots So for slot one for our attacker in this case or for our s rank so of s rank armor and uh, and uh, Armor equipment accessory as you can see for the first one right here slot one It says increase attack by X attack is best for slot one second choice is all stats Next up slot two is gonna be when attacking at X damage best option other than S, option are also good. Next up for slot three, we have two choices right here. We have when attacking, add plus ignore X, ignore defense. Next up right here, when attacking, recover X damage as HP. And when it says use ignore defense, option if no survival issues, recover option for survival slash boss gimmicks. And that's what I was mentioning before earlier on that it could be a little bit of an issue when it comes down to her gimmick because she does debuff the hell out of your stats. It is crazy. 
how annoying this hoe is. All right, next up we have our A ranking armor um, armor letters right here. So for slot one, it says add X of HP to attack. Best is, uh, attack is best for slot one. Next up we have slot two, which is gonna be two different options right here. When attacking with slide skill, add X damage. When attacking with tap skill, add x damage and it says use the right option according to your attacker slide or tapper in this case for our slot three right here for our a rank armor we have four different options when attacking with a slide skill at x to x at x ignore defense with if attacking with a slide skill recover x damage as hp next we have when attacking with a tap skill and X ignore defense and when attacking with a tap skill recover X damage as HP and what it says over here for our note same uh, same idea with S option slot 3 use right use the right option according to your attacker slider or tapper and next up we have our S rank for our armor now and for our S rank, it says increase all stats by X. The best choice is other than S, only give defense and HP. Next for slot two, as you can see, if hit by an attack, reduce damage by X of HP. When I mean, the first choice, second choice is just reduce damage. Next up, it says if hit by an attack, recover X damage as HP. The only choice is in this slide. So, as you can see, it's the only one. So, next up for our armor, as you can see, A and B options here. And it says, add X of attack to HP. The best choice, only, the best choice, second choice is add HP to defense. Next up, we have two choices for slot two. And as you can see for slot two, it says, if hit by a slide skill, reduce damage by X of HP. And then next up, we have, if hit by a tap skill, reduce damage by X of HP. And it says, any of these will do. Following up behind that, we have the same thing for slot three, which is gonna be a B rank. And it says, if hit by a slide skill, recover X damage as HP. And for the second one, it says, if hit by a tap skill, recover X damage as HP. And once again, it says, any of these two will do. Moving on down to our accessories, finally dibs. As you can see, for our first slot for our S rank accessory, it says, increase attack by X. Attack is best for slot one. Second choice is all stats. Next up for slot two for S rank, it says increase debuff evasion by X. Debuff evasion only choice here. Next we have slot three, which is if attacked, 20% chance to get skill gauge plus X. And then if attacked, 10% chance to get drive gauge plus X. And this says skill gauge first choice, drive gauge second choice. And for our A to B rank options right here, slot one, as you can see, Debs is gonna be Ed, X of HP to attack. This is the only choice for this slot. There is no choice for slot two, as you can see. All options, all available options here are useless. <laughs> right out in the open, useless. And for three, as you can see, we got four different options that we're gonna go over. When hit by a tap, when hit by a slide skill, chain, I mean, change it to skill gauge plus. When hit by a tap skill, mm, <clears throat> when hit by a slide skill, sorry dibs, change to, I mean, chance to get drive gauge plus Y. And then, when hit by a tap skill, chance to get um, skill dam skill gauge plus Y. And then, when hit by a tap skill, chance to get drive gauge plus Y. So depending on if you get um, A, I mean B or A here is the better one. I would say try to go with B, I mean A. But either one will do, as you can see, any choice will do. And that is the guy right there. Because we do got the costume for Heather right here. And we do have this costume for our girl Ziva right here. Well, I said Lee Ziva. Lema. So I'm going to hop on over to the game, Dibs. Before we do, be sure to show some love to the creator of this guy. It was none other than the homie Saturn right here. Dibs, I'll be sure to leave a link to the Discord server that they made me in. As well as a direct link to the guide in my comment section. Since at the moment, I still can't put links in my description. But let's pop on over to the game. All right, before I actually show you the battle itself, as you can see right here, this is the puppet's name right here, Lowly Nymph Lance Puppet right here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you an idea one shot, but I did wanna show you one more thing. 
we're gonna go right over here to the lead to this actual boss's buffs so right here dibs this is what she actually does and this is what we gotta worry about dibs her slide skill and her tap skill as you can see she was she does buff removal to the attacker target 100% chance she does skill charge down and is to the attacking target to the attack to the attack target and is minus 40 percent for 20 seconds she does the skill charge stack and it to steal to um to sale and it does plus 24 percent for 10 seconds and it's up to 300 percent right there for a slide right here dibs that you can see she's gonna be doing debuff bonus damage next up debuff evasion minus and she also does attack down dibs as well so this is what i was talking about we had to worry about when she does her her drive she does d she does debuff bonus damage and she also does time alteration right here dibs to our actual attackers for her leader buff as you can see she does debuff evasion debuff duration cut as well as skill um defense up experts i mean except weak points so yeah but all right, let's show you this one shot. All righty, level 30 is here. Let's go. So, as I said, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% if we're going to be able to, but we are definitely going to try. I am going to go ahead and turn down the speed some here on it so I can actually see what's happening. Overall, I do know that my team can survive fighting her. It's literally just the damage. That's literally all it is. It's just being able to keep consistent damage. As you can see, our damage has definitely dropped drastically with the base attack. Alright, so we are pulling out some tip there. Which is why I was saying I definitely need to... Um, I definitely need to have a um, catalyst of doing... Having more buffs coming in at a faster rate. Cause as you can see, it's definitely only hitting for 20s when it first was hitting for 60s and 100s, and 170,000 and stuff. But that attack has dropped drastically now. So it has dropped really significantly because we're not getting the overall critical damage that we need, which is more than likely why I said I'm probably going to swap in Lupin. And take out um, Mona because the damage is just way too low for me to be comfortably battling her. It's just too low for me to comfortably be going against her. As you can see, it just it drops just so much. So we definitely need to uh, overall get there because we're, we're not getting, there we go, now we're getting that weak point advantage here, but in the end it's still just not enough. Now we may, we may be able to, I just turned it out because we're just moving a little too slow for my liking. As you can see the damage is increasing quite a bit now. So it is very possible that it will increase over time, but we're still a bit high with like the, the actual ratio right now for this to actually be boom. So now Simile applies her buffs onto it. And now boom 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 boom. As you can see, we still got eight minutes left on the clock right now. I mean eight million left up there. And usually at this point with two minutes and change up on the clock, you'll wanna have at least below 4k at this four mil at this point because of like the damage rate. But maybe by the time we hit the one minute marker, we can have at least... Okay, we're in the four million marker. Which means we do have a chance now. I actually see this working you now I think about it. Maybe it was just a dud <laughs> that it didn't work the first time. But we're not gonna... I'm not gonna jinx it. We're still managing to pull through. It's just that we gotta keep that, crit, that critical coming in without the time yet. I still may swap in Lupin just to see about taking it out faster, but it does seem like um, Titania is determined to get the job done here. We got one minute and 30 seconds up on the clock. Oh, we got hit with that buff. 
they have they have damn buff right there man which is gonna suck but we might be good let's see if we're gonna be able to keep that up boom can we keep it up nope see that's what i meant keeping the actual buffs coming in is an overall issue especially when it comes down to the time left on the clock but maybe we can if luke if tanya can keep on coming in with that good good damage right here we may be it may be a, it may be literally just it will be needed there we're probably going we're going to get through it literally with a literal 32 seconds left which in my personal opinion i wish it was faster all right so there you have it i just wanted to show you that it is very very possible to actually one shot this boss right here with this actual team uh i did actually do it with another team as well pretty much the same team i just had um what's her name in there um saturn in there for double edged sword as well but um i'm actually enjoying this raid i'm hoping that i can get my hands on the heather costume eventually um do all this before the time is up as you can see i got about three days and a certain amount of hours left so i definitely do have time to try but it is so hard to get to the last stage when it takes up so much time as you get to that point but um yeah man it, it it took a little bit of time on this one i'm not gonna lie because of that debuff skill is not always guaranteed but i can tell you eventually you can manage to get a one shot if all your uh, skills and stuff stack up properly and i think the only issue i probably am gonna have that i'm having with this team is if my mona is not ignited i think if mona was ignited or if my lupin was fully ignited this will work out so much better I know for a fact if all my units in my team was 100% ignited, this would be at god tier possibilities right here. But um, I'm outie. Thank you for joining your boy. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe to my channel. Be sure to turn on post notifications and all that good stuff. Dibs. We're trying to grow the dib fam as I said. And the only way that's going to be possible if you guys hit that big damn going bell that thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red subscribe button you already know what you gotta do so yeah that would definitely help your boy out in the long run to re uh, get back out there into the youtube community guys. especially if you love my content if you want to check out all my other social media links which i would appreciate you doing as well please be sure to go down to the comment section there you can find it down there Dibs within um, the very first 10 comments and so I can't put it in my um, description just yet. You can also find links to uh, my um, link tree where you can find my social media like I was saying just a moment ago which leads to the Facebook community and gaming page, Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, Trovo, IG, Discord, and TikTok. You found on that Discord, you can suggest games to your boy and you will find you see on my channel or my other social media and also be sure to check out the destiny child discord servers as well all of them can be found down in the description and uh, not in the description down in the comment section as well yeah. um also on top of that be sure to check out the obscene and official community pages for destiny child too there's a lot of them but it's worth joining them they post them to god center in cosplay as well as you do it on the discord server and it's definitely helpful in the long run while you're at it, do me a solid. Be sure to check out the three different Twitters to keep up with the updates that may be going on. Just in case your boy missed something that you catch, you can let me know. And um, yeah, there's a JP that KR in the global one. And with that being said, remember fun of the entry destination. May our hearts be your guiding key. And um, this guy darn girl's debuff physics are a pain to me. I'm coming for the throne.